share with you guys my whole experience with moving abroad, learning Norwegian, and just immersing myself in a completely different culture. I just started recording for this when I was back in the States a month ago. So we're gonna start back in the States, where I'm from, and then we're gonna venture on back to Norway and start my new nursing job. Looking back on my last days, it's always very emotional. Even though I've lived across the world for six years, it never gets easier leaving home. Definitely it took a different path than a lot of my peers. Everyone was going to college and I was heading off to a folk high school in Norway. I mean, we made it to today and I would say that I'm doing pretty fine. It's okay to choose a different path and it's pretty cool to do it. So join my adventure. <laughs> Friday instead of leaving Thursday. That's how it is when you live in Minnesota. So now I'll have one or two days back in Norway. My friends are seven hours ahead before I start my new nursing job. <laughs> later I'm gonna get to cleaning my huge mess of a room and start packing. <laughs> Today is virtual because of the big snowstorm, which is kind of disappointing because this is my last session where I'm in the States. Therapy is something that I just recently started when I came back to the States. This fall was super hard with my nursing job. I ended up quitting that job, came back and took some time off. I'm super thankful for this time off. This is probably the best thing that I could have done for myself, starting in therapy. Being so much better than I was, like, even just a month ago. We did get a little snow. Show this to you. Oh my, this is gonna be fun. Minnesota, it's still snowing. Okay, I'm gonna go shovel. I always found this so magical when my grandma used to do this. Copenhagen, how do Minnesotans say it? With a long A. Copenhagen or Schopenhagen. <laughs> well. Back in the US I have a few things I wanna bring back with me to Norway. And we have a limited space because we have two suitcases. Checked, carry on, and then have a backpack. Start with assimilating everything that I want to bring back with me to Norway. Target, and I thought that I would show you guys what I've got. Because I love swimming and I want to be able to start seeing under the ocean. Faces, <laughs> and bar eggs. These are really happy. These are Norwa peeps. Marshmallow. What is this even called? Bird. <laughs> They're really good. This is going to look a little insane. All the stuff that I've got in the U.S. I normally don't get this much stuff. This is just when I'm home in the U.S. that I stock up on things. I'm usually home about two times a year. For a haul, makeup haul. That's from some other places. Got glossier sunscreen to like put on your face in the morning. Got Fenty Heat Lip Gloss. Got Paula's Choice Exfoliant. This one I've had before, I really like it. And then I start packing with like, what are the most important things for me to have with? And then like, what are things that are like, okay, like this might have to stay and that's okay. and it was yesterday. So I'm leaving Norwegian candies from my mom. This I got in New York, they're artists among us. Some cake lunch. My mom loves non-stacks. I'm gonna write her a little card. My suitcases, this is what we're packing. Really one of our Tim Tams.
song. Set up Matias on the phone here. Things that I've ordered before in here, so you can order them again easily. Four bottles of red wine. What time do I land? 16. Boyfriend is making me be a fan now. This is the mess that we're working with. I'm still so impressed that I managed to get everything with me over here. Like, that was a lot of stuff. This is my new favorite hangout. Gonna get ready for my new job. 